Hi guys! Today I am walking through Oconee State Park and I am doing some skunk tracking. <laughs> so basically I am working on this project at Clemson University where we are doing research on spotted skunks. They're nocturnal and so they're sleeping during the day and during the day we go out and we track them using radio telemetry and then we do vegetation sampling at their den sites. So today I wanted to film a video about radio telemetry and how important it is and how useful it is and it's probably one of the most well recognized and well known wildlife techniques and it's also one of the hardest to get experience in. So if you're ever looking for a job or anyone mentions it, uh, this is like a little radio telemetry 101 and hopefully a little later I'll get Lindsay, who's extremely ex experienced, um, to share some of her top like tips and tricks on how to properly use it and how to avoid bounce, but all of that will ex be explained later in the video. <laughs> I'm on my own, I'm on my own, I'm on my own, I'm on my own. So here's a full view of my antenna, my Yagi. <laughs> and I wanted to give you guys a better look at my receiver. So here's my front screen, and these are the buttons we use to program it. But this is where the magic happens, on top. <laughs> so... This knob here is the power and volume. It's how we turn it off and turn it up so that we can actually hear the frequency. Um, this is the gain. And as you can see, I have the gain turned all the way up. <laughs> um, so the gain is a little bit more confusing to explain. But I feel like once you see it in action, it'll make a lot more sense. Basically, the gain is how hard the receiver is working to pick up the signal. So if you want the receiver to work super, super hard, hear that beep from the caller, you turn the gain all the way up. If the receiver doesn't need to work as hard, you can turn the gain down and it won't pick up a, it will only pick up signals that are close by and easy to hear. And then up here is the dial. So this is where we can change the frequencies. Here's what the screen looks like turned on. Um, so right now it's set to memory mode, which means it's focusing on skunk FO5, which is the one I'm going for. And this S shows the signal. So when I raise the antenna, oh, you see that? I'm getting a bar. With the gain turned all the way up and receiving one bar, that means the skunk is very, very far away. But at least I know, looking at the Yagi, she's going in that direction. So FO5 stands for female number 5. And this female actually has kits. So I'm really hoping to find her today. The great thing about radio telemetry is that it doesn't follow maps and trails. It just sends you out into the woods. So I wanted to give you a sneak peek at where I am. This is where I just came from. Nice, dense rhododendron area. Along this actually really peaceful creek. Um, I'm going to cross here where there's barely any water, um, but it keeps, it keeps going. And that, um, I guess it's really just showing up as a lot of green, green veg, is the direction I am heading. <laughs> so wish me luck guys. I wanted to show you what I meant by when I said I have full bars. You see how 
the signal increases when I hold up the antenna. That means I have a really strong signal on the skunk, which makes me a happy, happy wildlife biologist. Oh, sorry I'm so shaky with the camera. And it also means I slowly get to start turning down the game uh, because I'm closer and closer to the skunk. If I have the game turned down, I will have full bars only exactly where the skunk is. Whereas now with the game turned all the way up, I can have full bars in like a larger window. And so when I turn the game down, I'm able to narrow down the direction of where the skunk is actually located. And that is how you manipulate game to get you where you need to go. <laughs> also, I made it over the creek. I survived. I made it through all that rhododendron. It did take a little bit of crawling on my hands and knees, I'm not gonna lie. But now I'm in a more open part of the forest. I love working in the summertime, even though sometimes it makes the job harder because of the heat and having all the leaves on the trees. But there's something that makes you feel so alive because there's just so much energy and life around you all the time. So yeah, I will check in when I'm a little closer to Skunk FO5. Oh, I remember also I wanted to tell you that if you're ever on a hike or going through like a little nature walk, if you find a spot and you sit still long enough, eventually all the wild animals kind of forget you're there. <laughs> and so you see so much cool wildlife. and. That was a huge bee that came and just checked me out and blew away. Oh, he's checking me out again. <laughs> of course, as I say, oh, enjoy nature. It'll, I run away from a, a big bee, but what can I say? I still don't like things that sting. Um, but yeah, just sit still for a moment and things will come to you. Whoa. And look, he has a friend. Hello, friend. Wow. <laughs> it's like they're doing the wave. I found Mama Skunk! I'm so happy! Uh, actually, she was a lot closer than I thought she was, which is even better. So, I actually took the antenna. Oh, sorry, there's a fly bugging me. So I took the antenna off the receiver, and I want to show you how close we are to this Mama Skunk and her kids. Okay. So... Take, she's in this tree trunk, <laughs> in this log, and so I've taken, the way I know for 100% sure, okay, is I take the antenna off the receiver, like so, and you see how it's beeping? That means it is picking up her signal just from this little metal piece, which means that she's in a five foot radius and then you start at the top of the tree you see we only get a few bars a few bars but as we get farther down we get full bars that means a little mama skunk is in this area of the log so now, all I have to do is leave her alone, take my vegetation data, and hike back to the truck. Alright, I hope you guys learned a little bit about tracking skunks today, and had just as much fun as I did. Um, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!